I'm glad you could join me today. I am in the book of Joshua. Now, I've missed a couple of days because of the holidays, but I'm back, and I hope that you've had a wonderful holiday season yourself. In Joshua chapter 20, Joshua reminds the people that they need to have in the land of Palestine a, uh, a few places where people can flee for refuge. Now, the idea is that ancient justice was such that you didn't have a, uh, a court and the same kind of system that we know today, but rather if somehow someone was killed, the person in their family who was assigned that particular duty was called the Avenger of Blood. And in that system, the, the legality was that the Avenger of Blood could come and take the life of the person who killed his particular relative. Now, we obviously have a different system that way, but the, uh, in that particular day, what they did was to set apart six cities in Palestine, three on the east side of the Jordan, three on the west side of the Jordan, and they gave these cities the responsibility that if someone came there having killed someone, that the people of that city would protect him from the avenger of blood. Now, it didn't mean that he got off scot-free. It meant that in the heat of the moment, the person who was the avenger of blood would be uh, kept from executing his justice against the person who killed his brother or cousin or whatever it would be. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, and so the, um, the cities of refuge were places where these people could come and find refuge. Now, the people of that particular city then would form a jury of sorts that there would be a trial at that particular point, and these, these people would um, administer justice. If the person was innocent, if this was merely an accident, and that's what it was deemed to be, then this person would stay there and be protected by the avenger of blood for the time until such a time that the statute of limitations would run run out and if he but if he was guilty then these people would hand him over to the avenger of blood who then would would kill him in whatever particular way it was proper so the city of refuge was a place where justice could be done. Now, we need to understand that our system of justice in the West, here in America particularly, is modeled after the ancient Judeo uh, justice system. And the cities of refuge was one of those particular places. What the city of refuge provided was a speedy trial. And that's part of the jurisprudence that we have. It is a part of our rights as citizens of this country to have a speedy trial over these particular matters. And so the avenger of blood was not able to kill the person who killed his relative because there was this city of refuge. Now, I believe that it's very important that we recognize the parallels between the cities of refuge and the refuge that you and I have as believers in Christ. In Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18, I believe, it says that we who have fled for refuge to the Lord Jesus, that phrase points us back to this passage in Exodus or in Joshua 20 because we as believers are people who are guilty but we have found refuge in Christ there is someone that's going to stand up for us and take the punishment that we deserve and so we find life we find refuge in Christ himself he, indeed, as it says in 1 John, is our advocate. He's the one who stands before the Father advocating for you and me. And that's the thing that we need to be so very conscious of. So the cities of refuge 
are places where a person who is accused of sin, particularly murder in that, in that day, would come in order to find justice. Justice would be done. There would be satisfaction done for the person who lost his loved one. But that satisfaction wouldn't necessarily be the person who killed him, unless, of course, it truly was murder. So the cities of refuge were a, is a great picture of the refuge that we have in Christ. We are guilty people, and we do deserve punishment. But the great news is that by fleeing to Jesus, to our Advocate, we have protection from the one who should and properly and justly could cause our death. So we find great joy in the cities of refuge in this passage. Father, we thank you for this truth. We thank you for the ways in which this truth has uh, impacted people down through the years. And it's our desire that we would follow you faithfully and find our refuge in Jesus. We thank you that he took our sins in his body on the tree. May you be honored in us now, in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.